Jesus. Here we go! Six hours later. Konnichiwa! Yo, Alan, you studied for the exams already or not? We only have a week left for the basic exam though, and we have to study a lot. Haven't studied yet. You don't need to worry lah. I definitely will study one. And I'll show you ah, that I can pass this exam just fine. You said it yourself, oh. You have to keep your promise. Okay, I will keep my promise. I won't fail. Okay lah, bye. I want to study for the exam already. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye bye. Nani? Yo, Alan. Two days left before our exam, though. I'm kind of nervous about it, though. Not gonna lie. Hi, yo. Nervous for what? Exam on Nima. If I study, then I definitely can pass one. The. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyways, have you studied yet? Don't tell me you've only been playing game this whole time, ah. Uh. Uh, heaven. Don't worry, lah, you. I'll start studying right this instant. Haven't studied, lah, you. Don't fail this exam, ah. It is important. Okay, lah. You're so annoying. You're not even my mom. Sorry, lah. Bah. I go study now. Bye, bye. See you later. Alright, bye. Okay, let's study. I think I'll start with topic 2, oscillatory motion. So simple harmonic motion occurs when the net force along the direction of motion obeys Hooke's law. When the net force is proportional to the displacement from the equilibrium point and is always directed towards the equilibrium point. Okay, now, amplitude is the maximum distance of the object from the equilibrium position. Period is the time taken for the object to move through one complete cycle of motion, while frequency is the number of complete cycles of vibrations in one second. Then, finally read until the motion of pendulum already. Okay, so the motion of pendulum will only be considered as simple harmonic motion if the angle of displacement is small. The formula for the motion of pendulum is t equals 2 pi square root of L over G, where the length of string of the pendulum is represented by uppercase letter L, and gravity is represented by lowercase letter G. Being curious about how the simple pendulum experiment is done, he goes to search for the experiment on YouTube. While watching the experiment, he thought about how easy it is to do this experiment. He hopes that he will have a chance to try to do the experiment once. In this experiment, you can see the change in length effect to the time period of a pendulum. Longer length of the pendulum is slowing down the time period it takes to complete one oscillation, as the travel time is much more longer. Well, the shorter length of pendulum can make the travel time much faster as the time travel is more shorter. Therefore, time period depends upon the length of the pendulum. After watching the video, he unconsciously started watching random YouTube videos until he fell asleep. Huh? Where am I? Was in a weird place. In the place he is in, he sees a huge grandfather clock sitting in the corner of a baby's room, while a baby cradle sits in the opposite corner of the room. Suddenly, he is in another room, a music room. He sees someone playing the guitar in the center of the room. He was then in another place. This time, he is in an open area. He spots a playground with a couple of kids playing swings, slides, and more. Next to the playground, there is a bungee jumping area by the cliff. Oi, 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 oi. Huh? Wait, what? Who's there? I think you forgot to study this part. Acceleration of object equals negative spring constant divide mass of object, multiply distance. 
Hello, who are you? What do you want? Boy, hmm. what took you so long to pick up? Huh? Were you sleeping instead of studying? Aya, you shut up la. I'm awake already. <laughs> so tell me, what are you calling me for? Nothing. I just got to check if you're studying already or not. I don't want to hear you complain after taking the exam saying that you regret not studying much or the exam is too hard. Oh, che. Don't worry. I've started studying already. Anyway, I better get back to studying. You better not lie to me that you're going to study, ah? Huh? I'm not lying. I'm really going to study. Okay, la. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Ah, okay. Today I will teach you some questions about topic two. So, first question Why is the swing reducing the speed while it is doing back and forth motion for a long time? Um, wow. This question a bit hard. So when the swing is being raised and released, it moves really back and forth due to the force of gravity on it. The swing continues moving back and forth without any extra outside help until friction between the air and the swing and also between the chains and the attachment points slows it down and eventually stops it. Wow, the answer so long. Damn, this question looks even harder to answer. So the question is, what factors affect the process of a pendulum? Explain. Wow, this makes me remember how we Malaysian students have to answer k questions in SPM. <laughs> what a horrible memory. Okay, focus and focus. So the answer is, one of the factors that affects the process of a pendulum is length. Changing the length of a pendulum while keeping other factors constant changes the length of the period. Longer pendulum swings with a lower frequency than the short pendulums. Secondly, starting angle of the pendulum. Changing the starting angle of the pendulum will have very slight effect on the frequency. Lastly, force of gravity. It accelerates the pendulum down. The momentum built up by the acceleration of gravity causes the mass to swing in the opposite direction to a height equal to the original position. Alama, the answer so long siya. Okay lah, I stopped studying already. It's time to play games. Hey Kenneth, I'm so nervous though. I didn't study much. Aha! Didn't study much, ah? <laughs> I told you to study a few days before exam, but you did not even listen to me. Now you complain you didn't study much, ah? Hiyo, recently got new game come up, ma. I got too excited to play and I lost track of time. Walao, ah! Play more, lah! Later you will fail your exams. Don't blame me for asking you not to study, oh! Ay, no, lah! Even though I didn't study much, it won't mean I will fail so la. Who knows you will really fail? Walao, don't jinx it la. Okay la, exam is starting soon. Good luck. Three weeks later. Wow, oh. oh. so nervous to check the results though. I hope I get good results. 38%? Oh my god, I failed. Karma.